lot of noise around my house today. Everybody seems to be mowing. They don't know that I want to film a poop video. You can see I made cow poop soup. Oh, now look, I got poop on my fingers now. Now I got poop on the camera. What was I thinking? Let's just dig through this pile of crap with your fingers. Digging through crap. Oh, now look it. I got crap on my pants. I got crap on my fingers. I got crap on my coat. Hi everybody, welcome back. Cow poop. We are going to pick up cow poop. Cow manure, cow poop, cow crap, whatever you want to call it. We're getting it today. And we're excited. Can you tell? We are excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. He's excited because he gets to unload all the cow poop. Excited. Excitedness. My dad, my dad is like master gardener. Okay. My dad had gardens for years and years and years and years. He had compost. He had just amazing, amazing soil. I mean, I just can't, you just can't imagine how good this was. So, my dad is backing off on the gardening because he's a little older now, but he wants to garden one spot by his garage. So, we're going to help him. We. 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 Every year he would get this cow manure from this man. And we called him and he still has cow manure. He still has cows. So we're gonna go pick that up and we're gonna use it in our garden beds and then take some over to my dad and put some in his garden. You know what? That's the wrong way. And my husband just went the wrong way. You did go the wrong way. I told you I did. I guess we're going to the mall and not get the cow poop. You're so freaking excited about this cow poop, you got on the highway the wrong way. So I guess we're gonna do a U-turn or turn around at the next exit because we'll probably get arrested. Knowing us, we'll probably do a U-turn on the highway, which is not safe, so do not do that. I've never done that, actually. I've seen people do it. We would be the ones to get arrested, you know? It's not too far down here that we have to turn around so we can go get the cow poop. This is not the first time he's gotten on these interstate the wrong way. It's not even an interstate. It's like a highway. Well, it's like I always go this way. I never, never, ever, very seldom, but maybe three times a year, I go the other, on the other direction. So it's just force of habit, I guess. He's excited about the cow poop. Not really, but... But me, I'm on day five of steroids. I had a shot in the beginning of the week and now I'm on the pills. And I feel like a watermelon today. I feel like if you would cut me, juices would just like spew everywhere. I don't know. I got a steroid shot to help with the inflammation. I don't get it. Why do steroids help with the inflammation but then cause inflammation? I don't quite understand that. I don't know. And I know steroid shots aren't good for you, but if you'd see my back, you would understand why I need a steroid shot. All right, we're getting off. We're doing a flip. We're doing a, a UE. On this... I don't even know. We're just going the wrong way. All right, I'll catch up back with you after we turn around and get going the correct direction and get a little closer to the boo. While we're getting there, we're going the right way now. I got Google Map up here, so we go the right way. While I'm here, look at this. Look at Ridge Life, Ridge Life, Ridge Life. My husband, my husband won this shirt, not me, but I'm wearing it. What's that saying? What? What's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine, and we should, I don't know. No, like everything's hers. I, I wear his clothes all the time because they're comfy. They're just more comfy, and right now I feel like a big old fat watermelon. So, hey. Rich life. Thank you. I think we're here. We think that we're here. We're not sure. There's, There's barns, barns back there. Oh, and I see a loader thing. Okay, well, we're here. Here we go. There we go. We are in the right spot. He said straight back to the pile. Oh, there's the pile. Well, look, there's the cow poo. I don't see any cows, though. 
That's exciting. Now, because I don't want to get out and stick this camera in this poor man's face, because he might not appreciate that. Oh, here comes the cow poo. Yay. Whoop, whoop. Holy crap, he's close. Here goes. Here goes. I felt that. That's my husband touching the cow poo. More cow poo. On the cows. Oh, he's got 20 cows in their calves. Oh, let's see if we can see any little baby cows in there. No. I see little ones in there. Oh, there's a baby, but you can't see. Yeah, she's just laying down. A little white baby. There's some over there on the. You hardly bear, hardly see him. A couple small ones over there. Oh, I look at that. Oh, look at this one coming up. This white one. Okay, look at this one. This one's pretty. We have cow poo. It's official. I didn't get out of the truck because I didn't want to stick a camera in that farmer's face. I thought maybe it would be weird a little bit. We have crap, let me tell you. Now we're full of crap. Now we're full of crap. We are officially full of crap. All right, let's go home. Hopefully the right way this time. Well, we made another pit stop. At the local garden center. I got a fern, fern. A couple marigolds and a flat of impatience because I love impatience. And onion sets. My dad wanted onion sets. We wanted onion sets. And we've looked everywhere recently and couldn't find them. We found them. This place just opened now. Where do you want to put this fern? Okay, fern going in back seat. In the car seat. We'll put the fern in the car seat. Okay, that will work. All right, well. Let's go. Here we go. All right, we're ready to go home. So we've got the poo, the poo, and the ferns. So we're set for the day. Cow crap must be popular. Some man just waved us down in this garden center and stopped us. Some masked man wanting to know where we got our cow poo from. We were able to give the guy some business. We gave him the phone number. He's gonna go get him some cow poo today too. Today must be cow poo day for everybody. I don't know. A lot of noise around my house today. Everybody seems to be mowing. They don't know that I wanna film a poop video. And it's windy. So I have my mic screen on, but I don't, my windscreen. Might work, might not work. Quite frankly, I don't even know where the microphone is on this camera. Who in the world ever would have thought that I'd be filming crap put on YouTube. He's gonna back this up, unload it in the beds. The yard's a little wet, not, I mean, it's not too bad. But here comes the shield. All right, good backing skills. Thank God he didn't run into the bed. Oh, a man and his poo. Oh, don't hit the cat. Don't hit the cat with the poo. Get out of there. Get out of there. Look at all the worms. Look at them. Oh, wow. I want to put these in my... Let's put all this... Look at me. I'm picking worms. Yep, I am fishing for worms now. Oh, 
Oh, wow. I'm going to stay out here with this. I'm picking through the crap. <laughs> oh, good God, I'm picking through the crap. What, in your uh, compost? Yeah. Oh, now, look, I got poop on my fingers now. That was bright. Now I got poop on the camera. I got poop on the camera. I've got poop on my fingers. What was I thinking? Let's just dig through this pile of crap with your fingers and find worms. No, no, I want that worm. Listen to me. So much for the gloves. Okay, go ahead. This is exciting. I'm <laughs> picking through crap. Oh, good God. You know, I guess sometimes I'm not just the... I mean, I have it together, okay? But, oh, there's a big one. I do most of the time have it together. Oh, now look it. I got crap on my pants. I got crap on my fingers. I got crap on my coat. Now what? <laughs> All right, well, it just brushes off, I guess. All right, I'm going to get off of here, and I'll see you back in a minute. All right, he has just instructed me stop digging for the worms. He doesn't have time for me to dig through this pile of crap for the worms. Can you believe I'm... Oh, my gosh. What has my life become? I'm digging through poop for worms. Oh, there you go. So we're going to get, we, we as in he, get this turned over really good and mixed in. And then we may end up like buying a couple dozen night crawlers too to put it in here. We bought our fishing license about a week ago. When we go fishing, we'll just have an abundant supply of worms here. I'm ready. We wanted to go fishing maybe today, but I don't, I don't think we're going to have time. Maybe tomorrow. Kind of like a date night fishing. And it was his idea. I've carried a few shovel loads. That's about all I could do. I put them in the stumps. My husband carved out stumps for me to plant in. We're going to build this whole area up over here and make it just look pretty. Look how pretty my tulips are coming. I'm going to plant sporadic tulips throughout here. I'm going to get some more for next year and other kind of things. But I filled all these up. And down here, you can see I made cow poop soup. Yep. They're holding water. These stumps are holding water. So I'm going to be aware of that when I plant. So I know that if it rains, there's going to be water in the stumps. He's doing pretty good over here getting this done. He's like a workaholic, man. He just, he just goes and goes and goes. Now, do you plan on like getting your rototiller out today? Uh, or just leaving it sit for a little bit and dry out a little bit, then rototill it under? What's your plan there, Stan? His name's really well, Rob. Uh, Fill it today, real quick, just, just to get it mixed up. It's all that settled in some more yet, so probably have to pretty sure till it under. Just get it mixed in with the soil. Yeah, okay. I'll move down the next bed, put some in there. We're gonna take some of this over to my dad's too. My, he wants some of this for his garden. This is all turned over out. We're sharing the poop. Share the wealth. That's good. That looks good. That looks, thank you for doing this. This looks I really good. This. Um, if you want to, it's up to you. I mean, we should be, unless you want, you could save it for something else. You don't have to use it in the worm farm okay. compost. So we, uh, pull up from the other bed and they'll get the tiller out. We still have all this tree to 
cut up a little bit. I mean, the most part of it's gone. It came from that branch up there. A couple videos back, he cuts this down. Oh, you know what? He needs to put some in these, too. I'll have to, like, remind him. Do you want to put a little bit in the... Be yeah, I'll get a couple of Okay. I got that, that bag to, oh. coming over, too. Oh, okay. I'm going to put that bag stuff in the boxes. Okay, we can do that. Same over there, same there. And some, if you want to put some in here for your flower beds, too, or your flowers up here you want to plant. All right. Well, I'm going to put those impatience that I got. I love impatience. I love them. I'll show them to you. I got them. Usually, I by just playing the one solid color so it's uniform this year we're going a little wild we're going to be adventurous i got these and then we've got a couple couple marigolds there the, those are i think the bit the ones that get a little bit taller but these i'll show you where i'm going to put in a minute and then i bought this fern i usually have good luck with a fern here i keep it watered and what I do, see the holes on the bottom of the pot? I will take that and I will duct tape that so the water stays actually in the pot. I mean, I won't duct, duct tape it solid shut because some water has to drain, but for the most part, I, I want the water to stay in the pot. And so I'll leave it drip. I'll leave enough for it to drip, but I'll duct tape that good. Now here are the boxes that we're gonna, I'm gonna plant flowers in, to, in two of these. And then I got onion sets. My dad wanted me to get him like 20 or 30 onion sets. So I came back with four pounds of onion sets. And he said, Michelle, Michelle, what, Michelle? I'm like, I know dad, I know, I know, I know. They were selling them in two pound bags. And I wanted to try like the purple onion and he's gonna do the yellow onion. So I told him, just take what you want and we'll, I'll figure it out. I've just been figuring a lot of stuff out lately, it seems. So the onions I'm gonna put in a box, but I'm gonna use my dehydrator on those and dehydrate, um, make onion powder and little just chopped up onions and because I like onions. I, I love onions. So I'm going to be dehydrating onion tops, onion everything. This is going to be nice. I can't wait to start planting. We also have uh, one of those little mini rototillers too. So that'll be good for in there also. Probably getting around the edges of Good job. Looks nice, doesn't it? Looks still really good. It's a little muddy yet. So that clumping up, so that's good. Looks good. All right, there you have it. Poop 101. <laughs> we have a crap. We are full of crap. Break it out, let it settle. You're good to go. All right. I guess we're going to end the video now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Come back for more. There's more to come. We got a long, long way to go yet. This is just the start of it. See you next time. Bye.